It's the KSO Show. I'm Derek Young, joined by Grant Flanders, and typically a Monday podcast, but the holiday weekend kind of let us leak into this week a little bit as we talk about the big picture of the upcoming game. As many know, Kansas State knocked off Stanford inside AT&T Stadium for the uh, All-State Kickoff Classic on Saturday, um, home of the Dallas Cowboys. A pretty impressive win, left some points on the field, but, you know, took down a power five opponent, a quality power five opponent, uh, maybe not as much quality as we typically see from the Cardinal, but a quality one and a respectable program. Nonetheless, from a power five conference, 24 to seven, really did it with ease. So now we get into week two. The opponent is no longer a power five opponent. It is Southern Illinois. And our typical Monday pod, as you're going to be hearing this on Tuesday, is talks about the big picture or the importance or maybe the implications of that week's game so Mm -hmm. i mean there's probably no way to escape this there's you know you you can never look past an opponent i mean we can because we're not playing the game the players can't and and they won't i remember it kind of being a emphasis of chris Kleiman even in year one when they played nickels but mississippi state was the next week he's like Mm -hmm. no we played nickels we don't play mississippi state until next week Mm -hmm. and i imagine that's what we're going to kind of hear you know throughout this week this isn't stanford week this isn't nevada week this isn't this is southern illinois week and to be quite frank um yeah it's an fcs school but it's a pretty good one you can't you can't walk through this one i mean you just lost to an fcs school game one last year to start things off sunbelt school oh it was a sunbelt school arkansas state yeah Getting that mixed up, but it you're might devoting, as well you're have been the Red Wolves, huh? It might as well have been FCS school. I mean, not to knock FCS, but <laughs> this is a game that they still can't look past. The thing is, I mean, Kleiman will tell you he he coached one of the or the best FCS program of all time and won championships there. He will tell you you can't look past teams like this, um, and they they have some solid pieces. They have some guys that will make some plays downfield, um, depending on. Uh, whether or not they're going to be effective doing that, K-State needs to make sure they aren't effective at doing that. Yeah, they're actually trotting out. They trotted out the quarterback this past week that was the second string to the to the, to the who we thought was going to be yeah. the starter. So they flip-flopped, and new quarterbacks need to for four touchdowns in New York, Michigan, Southeast Missouri State. I think they scored 47 points, kind of a prolific offense to be concerned about. And ironically, I think we should touch on this, a team that defeat – they had a spring season, the mm-hmm. FCS did. They beat North Dakota State. Yeah, no, I mean, and that's and that's kinds of show kinds of shows where the program North Dakota State is still up there in the ranks of stuff, but also maybe has fallen off a little bit since Kleiman has left. Um, as I mean, they weren't losing games when Kleiman was there, and they are have been losing games um, here and there since. Still a dominant program, but yeah, so this is a program to not be taken lightly. Like you just said, just did that last spring, just had a nice showing last week, so. This game is not one to be taken lightly, even though Nevada, the toughest probably non-conference opponent, is the next week after that. You cannot be looking past this FCS program because (laughs) that would all of a sudden stunt what is a really good start because, like we said last week, beat Stanford. You have to beat Stanford. They did that in in somewhat convincing fashion, even left some points off the table. This is one where they might have to be almost flawless in how they execute things, at least in the first half, I would think. Yeah, you well, you want them to be a little bit sharper on the offensive side of the ball and take a step in that in that department. You'd like to think that Deuce Vaughn can kind of run wild a little bit on this team from an athletic yeah. differential standpoint in the first half. Interestingly enough, I mean, I, <laughs> excuse me, Southern Illinois gave up some points against Southeast Missouri. Uh, I think it was 47 to 21, so 21 points in Southeast Missouri. They were able to run the ball on, on Southern Illinois, so that will yeah. be something to look into. And we'll, we'll dive into the matchups, you know, in a later podcast this week. But Kansas State, this is a uh, – Southern Illinois now ranked in the top ten of the FCS. So nothing to look past. I know people are going to want to be terrified at the Nevada game next week, and as fans, you can. Yeah. I will say um, Cal's not supposed to be a world beater either – and regardless, and despite all that stuff that we've heard about the Nevada offense, the quarterback Carson Strong, the receiver, everything of that yeah. sort, interesting. They only scored 22 points on Cal, which I thought was interesting. We'll get that get that game next week. Southern Illinois comes first, and if, 
I guess we've already touched on it, but that's the big takeaway for me here is for the big picture, the importance. The Nevada game is not important unless you beat Southern Illinois. Exactly, and that's pretty much going to be the whole way through. You can always uh, sprinkle in a few other big picture items, but that's usually going to be the case every single game, especially if you're winning, is keep on winning because and focus on that game. If you're the team, focus on that game at hand. But, yeah, as fans, look ahead to that Nevada game. Take a look at what Carson Strong's been doing. But as a team, you can best believe when we go see climbing today or tomorrow, whenever you're listening to this, when we see climbing on Tuesday of this week, he will be telling us uh, we're not – who's Nevada? We're looking at Southern Illinois. Absolutely. All right. That's our Monday version of the KSO show on Tuesday this week. Labor Day holiday kind of threw us off. Last week we were off too. So maybe, <laughs> maybe by week three we'll be on the right schedule. But you're listening to the KSO show. For Grand Flanders, I'm Derek Young. Tell your friends. Tell them.